everybody. Thank you for letting us be here with you again this afternoon. My name is Mary Lior. I'm Executive Director of Louisiana Environmental Action Network in the Lower Mississippi River Keeper. We have been helping communities for 28 years and we're here to help you and we'll be with you through this journey that you're going through about the fracking. So if you want to learn more about us, you can go to the website. But I want to let people to know what is at our table. We have Wilma Super's report that Mike, you were kind enough to mention the 600-person meeting where we were all gathered together. The report is at the table. Everything is free. We also have a yard sign, if folks would like a yard sign. That is waterproof. You will see this one is not. <laughs> the next one is not. Hold on. It's like a magician. Um, here we go. But we thought this might be nice for folks to be able to carry to meetings because it really tells people where what, what we are about. Don't frack St. Tammany. Who's with me? All right, all right, so we're sticking with you till the end, and uh, we appreciate you, God bless you, I'm going to introduce another young lady, another young lady, a, a young lady, I should say, <laughs> uh, uh, okay, our next speaker is Melissa Pearson, Melissa, you right over there, she considers herself to be an average Jane, she is a newer resident of St. Tammany Parish, having moved here four years ago, she's both a homeowner and business owner here in the parish, and believes that local government could use a nice cleanup, not a frack up, a cleanup, right? That's my words, not what they gave me. She serves on the Council of Citizens for a Frack Free St. Tammany and is chair of the Concerned Citizen of St. Tammany's Community Outreach Committee. Here to talk to you about the current fracking controversy. Please welcome Melissa Pearson, everybody. Yay! And come give some signs. I don't want to go home with any. Thank you. Thank you, Mary. Good afternoon, everyone. I feel like I may be preaching to the choir at this point. I think we're all basically on the same page. So I'd like to give you a spin. Everybody here knows about the fracking issue. Everyone here has probably educated themselves about fracking. If not, there's a plethora of people right over there that are willing to share facts and information with you. Six months ago, if you would have told me that I would be standing up here today talking about fracking, I never would have believed it. But I started, you know, when I first heard about the fracking, I knew nothing about it. Uh, my ex-husband is a petroleum engineer, so of course, naturally, I went to him first and I said, show me some resources. What is this? What are they going to do? He lives in Lafayette. He doesn't live here, so it doesn't really affect him. So he gave me some resources and I, I read up on it and it wasn't oil industry driven but it also wasn't environmental um, zealot driven right those are the two stereotypes and so I wanted more information I have a friend who is a retired CEO of a fortune 500 energy company and I went to him and I said what do you know about fracking you know the oil industry says oh it's great there's never been a problem. It's going to increase revenue, right? We're going to become energy independent, which are all relevant, relevant points. But then on the other hand, it's like, oh man, it's going to mess up our water supply. And, and what about our air quality? And what are they doing with the waste, right? Which are also relevant questions. And so I tried over the past six months to maintain a balanced perspective and understand both sides of the story. This particular oil company that has applied for this well in St. Tammany Parish, Hellas Oil and Gas, they're just doing their job. They see an opportunity, okay? So what's happened is there are people fracking the shale. The shale is the rock under the ground that has the oil and gas in it, okay? And what they do is they have to find a way to harvest the oil and gas. And nobody has done that here. The closest fracking is 40 miles away. So there is oil and gas under the ground here, but they don't know anything about it. They don't know how much there's gonna be. They don't know if it's gonna be profitable or not. So they just see an opportunity, right? So they come in and they lease 51,000 acres of land that we know of. And there's a map over there. Mary Lee worked very hard with her team. You can see the map. It ranges throughout the parish. So they come in, they lease the land, and they want to drill, which is their right as an oil company to want that, right? Not to actually drill, but to try to do that. They're just doing their job. But as a citizen 
who has made up my mind that I don't want this, my first plan of action was call my parish officials, call my parish councilmen, write to Pat Brister, the parish president. And do you know what they told me? They said, there is nothing we can do about it. And that floored me. What do you mean? This is America, right? The last time I checked, America is a democracy, which means it is run by the people, right? It is run by the people. What are you telling me? I elected you, I put you in office, and you can't help me now? Because the state says, once you get a permit, it's all done, right? It's all done, they're, they're going in. So I'm with the group, Concerned Citizens of St. Tammany. We are trying to stop this before the oil company gets a permit. We asked our local St. Tammany Parish government to help us in this, and they're not. I want you to be aware, it's a bunch of rigmarole, it's a bunch of excuses. They had an opportunity to shut it down and they didn't do it. So I think, if this is a true democracy, that maybe we should call for a vote. And if, and if everybody out there wants fracking except for me, I'm okay, I can move someplace else. But I have a feeling we don't want it. And if we don't want it, we shouldn't have to deal with it. So I'm going to close by reminding you guys of a, a little line in the Declaration of Independence, okay? So in the second paragraph of the Declaration of Independence, it says, of course, that we hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights. Unalienable rights means you cannot be, they cannot be sold or removed. They are our rights, all right? Among these, of course, we know this, life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. But the Declaration of Independence goes on to say, in the event that any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or abolish it and to institute new government. So for a long time, Louisiana has worked a certain way and it's worked for us and it's brought in money, I understand. But this is a new form of drilling and it needs to be governed a different way. And I hope that you're with me on this. Thank you.